Hi, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. Puzzle Generator. Had a person ask um, about this. Okay, so <clears throat> if you want to adjust how many pieces are in it, of course, you can come right here and do that. <clears throat> Oops. Update the preview. Okay. So we'll click it right there. Let me go back to this, though. Right here, this uh, height and width, this is automatically sized to the size of my mat. I don't think, nope, okay. I have the scan and cut, and this is the size of my scan and cut mat because I made a custom mat. If you need to know how to do that, you can search custom Gen Blasi, and that will tell you how. I'm actually going to resize this and make them 11 square so I uncheck keep proportions so now that's 11 square do my two page because I like it centered okay now you can send this to the cutter to just cut out if you just want to cut out like a regular like thick um, card stock you can do that but just know that if the kids or someone tries to put it together um, it's not going to hold together really well. You actually want to cut this out of like a thicker chipboard. And what you want to do is you want to lay the um, your image on top. And if you can, what you would want to do is you want to actually lay the image on top um, and Mod Podge it. If you can do it all first, so like take your 12 by 12 sheet of chipboard. Um, print out your picture let's see let's do this so we're going to add our second page here we're going to come up to file place image and i had this one i did this video before but my kids were running for the door screaming and yelling i have two boys that are just outrageous <clears throat> so i had to hurry up and talk really fast and i didn't get to say what i wanted to say so i'm redoing this video but we're going to place this image and I'll come back when it pops up. Okay, so here it is. And I know that my other image, or my puzzle, is 11 by 11. So I can already change this because I know that the, that is what it is. Oops, not a 2. I need 1s. Okay. So now I can do this. If you just left it where it was, okay, at the regular size, let me show you. Um, where does it? I always forget where I put it at. Um, right here. Transform, do the auto fit, and that will automatically take this up to, this is supposed to show it, and it's not showing it will automatically take it up to the correct size of the 11.73 by 11.69 or whatever it is. But we'll take it back down to 11. And uh, come on. And 11. Oops, I forgot. I tell you, my fingers are not working today. Okay. There we go. But that's how you can do it if you want, if you uh, <clears throat> can't figure it out and you want to bring it up to the size, just come up to your object transform auto fit and that'll automatically raise it to the exact size of your mat. Okay. All right. So what I will do with this then so that I can have a printed image come up to file print and then you send this to your printer okay so after it's printed then you take this printed image and you put it on your chipboard modge podge it on there okay take this export this cut file to your stick so go ahead put it on your stick yada 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 and there's there is a, a video that shows you how to put it onto your stick then put your chipboard with the picture already on it onto your mat 
this will be on your stick put your stick into the machine put the mat into the machine and then you will do a background scan okay and that will help you place this directly on top of that um, image all right there is a video you can search background scan Jen Blasey or just search background that's the easiest way to get it usually just search one word so search background and my name and it will show you how to do it it's really super easy um, in your settings I when I have chipboard I use the thicker stuff and I use my deep cut blade um, if you check in our file settings on our Facebook group page um, our file settings are uh, in there for our machine what we use and I think um, I normally whenever I use my deep cut blade I normally always do two cuttings and I want to say my chipboard is my first cut is a five and my second cut I think is at a six and I believe my pressure is a zero or a one but double check so just go in the group and look for SCASH admin machine settings okay um, if you guys have any questions though you can find me over at scan and cut canvas and scal help on Facebook thanks a lot guys